Hey, how's it going everybody? Brett here from Fight Cube. This is my 555 contest entry. This is a 555 Nixie Key and chain. they're pretty cool. A lot of people make clocks out of them. And uh, I've been making clocks and, and different things and I thought for the 555 contest I'd make a Nixie Tube keychain. So I put this together. It's a custom PCB, uh, double sided, and it's got um, a 555 basically running in a stable mode for a step up converter. I'm using a times 10 uh, transformer, custom transformer. It's a little big, but you know, it's what I could put together for the time being. Um, I have a couple footprints on here for optional components. Um, check out the schematic for that. But essentially, this guy's running at uh, you know roughly 22 kilohertz or so. And then on the output, um, you just got a uh, a diode and a cap, and uh, the voltages get up to about 170 volts or so. And then um, on the cap there, there's a little bleeder resistor just in case um, you turn it off. You don't want to get shocked by it. It uh, discharges in a couple seconds. So if you look at the Nixie tube here, this is a uh, an IN17. It displays 0 through 9, and I thought it would be really cool to display just one digit. Ah, that's better. There's a little better close-up of the Nixie tube. You can see all the digits in there. So on the back side here, I have two more 555s underneath the battery holder and I already glued it on so I kinda can't show you uh, but go ahead and check out the pictures on the uh, on the blog post essentially there's two more a stable 555s running under there <clears throat> one generates a master clock and the other generates uh, a couple pulses and that in turn controls the uh, these switches here uh, NPN transistors that drive the low side of the digit. This is an interesting configuration um, using two NPN transistors, they're high voltage uh, transistors, and a resistor you can actually get current limiting on your uh, on your driver. You can do it high side or low side. I chose to do that instead of the series resistor that a lot of people do on uh, Nixie power supplies just because I know this tube um, really likes one and a half milliamps so I've set it to about one and a half milliamps using a 470 ohm resistor. Uh, that's about it. Check out the schematic for exactly how it works. I'm going to power it up here for you. Five fifty five. Five five five. That is just so cool.